All right, so welcome to your morning mobility and this will also be a very grounding class. We'll do some joint freeing exercises and then we'll do some strengthening and, and flexibility. So taking a comfortable seat and just take a moment to arrive. If you'd like to close your eyes, close your eyes and just take a deep breath in. Breathe all the way down to the belly, feel the belly expand. And exhale, just soften and relax. Start to connect to your space around you. And set your intentions for your practice. So it might be as simple as just being present or going with the flow, just working out what it is that you want to, um, what you intend for yourself for the practice. And then just allow the legs to become heavy, allow the bones of your legs and your muscles to sink down into the earth. And just feel the floor spreading out beneath you, supporting your weight. Lengthen through your waist, lengthen through your spine as you relax your shoulders away from your ears. Soften the jaw. Just finding that nice line of the spine. And from here, we're going to just start some gentle movement. So you're going to inhale, extend the chest to the right, forward and around. So just starting with some slow circles, unraveling any tension in the lower back. And the circles might be small or they might be larger. Just feeling into your body what you need. And then slowly back the other way, round you go. Come back to centre. And then we'll take a few little neck stretches. So just nodding your head down, inhale and exhale. Just nodding your head, yes. And then inhale, bring your arms up, interlock them behind your head. And again, nod your head down. So bring your chin to your chest and then push the back of your head into your hands and your hands into your head, stretching out through your neck. Inhale, release, head comes up, and then we'll do it again. So bring your chin into your chest, push your head into your hands, your hands into your head. Take a breath here. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, head comes up again. And then from here, you may get a little bit further this time. So bring your chin down to the chest again. Head into the hand, hand into the head. Good, and slowly rise up. All right, take your arms out to the side. We'll take, a, um, take the neck to the right side now. So drop the right ear to the right shoulder, drop your left arm, and then bring your right arm up over to your left ear. And again, getting that resistance. So pushing your head into your hand, your hand into your head. Take a breath, inhale, and exhale. Good, slowly rise up, and let's do the other side. So the left arm comes out, left ear to left shoulder, Left hand comes to the right ear. You can relax the right arm and just, again, pushing that head into the hand. Good, and slowly take your time to come up. Take a breath at center. Notice how you feel, just drop your shoulders away from the ears. And then we're going to um, move to all fours for some cat-cow. 
So take your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips now. As you inhale, extend the chest forward, push down through the tops of your feet and your shins, pause at the top of the inhale, and then exhale, round your back, push into your hands. Inhale, arch your back, push into your feet and shins, Exhale, rounding chin to chest. Inhale, come up. Pause. Exhale, rounding, pausing at the top of the exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Find your neutral spine now. And take your right leg back, push into the ball of the right foot, getting a ha uh, stretch into your calf muscle. So keep pushing into the ball of that foot and notice if you can feel it into your calf muscle. From here, you can then slowly bring that right leg up. So raise up the right leg, but just check that your hips are square. So you're starting to activate your core muscles now. If your balance is good, you can then extend the left arm at the same time. Take a breath there. And I want you to imagine like a corset wrapping around the belly. So you're drawing in and up. So you're really getting into those deep core stabilizing muscles here. Good. And then slowly release. Let's try the other side. Left leg, extend that leg out. Push into the ball of the foot to start with. Breathe into your calf muscle. And then when you're ready, lift the left leg up, keeping your hips square. So you could balance a drink on your, or a cup of tea on your hips, on your back. And then your right, le right arm comes out. Again, imagine a corset drawing in, pulling in around your belly, activating those core muscles. Take a breath here. Stay for the exhale and release, well done. All right, take your right leg out to the right now. Inhale, lift your left arm up, look towards your left arm. Exhale, thread your left arm under. Push down through your right hand. Your right foot is an extension of the right hip. Take a breath. Inhale and exhale. Good, slowly come back. Release your arm, look to your right foot, bring it behind you and then across your left leg, turn to look at it. You're getting a nice C shape in your left waist now. And gently release, well done. Okay, other side. Left leg extends out to the left, right arm comes up, inhale, exhale, thread that arm under. Good, and slowly come back. Bring your leg behind you, then across the other leg, turn to face it. Compressing into the right waist and release. Good, curl your toes under now, sit back on your heel to get a, a stretch through your toes and your feet. The base of the toes is where the meridian points are. And as you do this, bring your hands out in front, make a fist with your hands and just take some circles with your wrists. So circling around one way and then back the other way. Good, release your hands down, release your toes, give your feet a little tap on the mat. And then curl your toes under, push your hips up and come into your first down dog. So take a breath in your down dog, checking your posture. You wanna find that nice stability in your down dog. So spread your fingers, push through the index and thumbs. Your arms are shoulder distance, your feet are hip distance. Take a breath here, extending through the side waist, you can start with your knees bent and then if it feels comfortable, you can start to straighten your legs and push your heels down to the floor. Take another deep breath here in your down dog. 
And then when you're ready, bring your right leg up and back, pointing the toe, bend your knee and make some circles with your right knee, getting into your hips. So nice circles with that knee round one way and then back the other way. Look to your hands, rock into your plank and place the foot between your hands, the right foot. Gaze is forward, you're in a low lunge. When you're ready, drop the left knee, come up onto the right knee, take a breath. You can place your hands onto your knee and then if your knees are okay, we're gonna take a stretch of the left hip flexor. Now you're already getting a stretch, but if you wanna deepen it, you can bend the left knee and take a hold of that foot. And that's just gonna make it a little bit stronger, lifting up through the chest. And then if you want to look really stylish, you can bring your arm up as well. Gaze up to the thumb. That's just optional variation to make that hip flexor stretch a little bit stronger. Take a breath there. Gently release it down. Curl your left toe under, lift up through that knee now. Inhale, right arm comes up. This is called the world's greatest stretch. We look up to the right hand and then we bend your elbow and bring it to the right foot. Inhale, look up, extend, exhale down. That's not a yogic expression, the world's greatest stretch, but I think it's one on YouTube, but it is a, a, a good stretch. Inhale up and down. Good, and then hand on the outside of that front foot, drop your back knee, send your hips back, getting into your hamstrings. And you can either stay there or you can just make it a little bit more dynamic. So moving forward and back, breathe into your legs. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, and then place the hands on either side of the front foot, curl the back toe under, step back, down dog. Take a breath in your down dog. And then we'll do the other side. So left leg comes up and back, bend the knee, open the hip, circles with your knee, one direction. And then the other direction when you're ready. Rock forward to plank. Place that left foot down now, gaze forward. Slowly release your right knee down. Inhale, come up. Taking a hold of that foot, either staying there or taking a hold of the foot. And taking your hip flexor stretch on the other side so you can extend that left arm up. Thumb and index fingers to touch. Taking a couple of breaths. Really good antidote to sitting this stretch. and gently release, good. Curl your back toe under, and the knee rises up. Inhale, gaze up to the left hand. Exhale, elbow to foot. Inhale, reach. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, good. This is gonna help you move better all day. Send your hips back, great for your mobility. So forward and back here, breathe into the hamstrings. Good, well done. Okay, slowly curl the back toe under, step the left foot back, down dog. Take a breath here in your down dog. And then look to your hand, step forward. Hang forward in your Uttanasana, folded forward bend. Push through your feet and slowly take time to rise up. Once you come up, find your mountain pose. So you're standing with your feet hip distance. Anchor down through your feet, shoulders away from the ears. 
Inhale, reach your arms up, interlock them, stretch your arms up, come up onto your toes. Rising up. Take a couple of breaths here. Really lift up through the inside seams of the legs. Imagine zipping up all of your core muscles. Make sure you're taking some deep breaths in this situation. And then slowly lower the heels down like a centimeter at a time and gently release the arms down, interlock them now behind the back, open the chest, extend the front of the spine and come forward. So soften your knees, let your head hang forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together and let the crown of the head relax here. See if you can lift your arms up off your back. Push through the feet, take your time to come up. And let's do that one more time. So inhale, arms up, interlock the fingers, push the palms away, rise up, lift up, working the inside seams of your legs. Take a breath and then slowly and gently come down. Interlock the arms behind you, open the chest, extend the front of the spine, soften your knees and fold forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Deep breath. And slowly rise up. Take your time. Relax your hands, shake your hands out. All right, Suri Namaskara, coming to the front of your mat. Keeping present for your Suri Namaskara, like you've done it, a, a sun salutation so many times, really remaining within the body, noticing the sensations and noticing your breath. Inhale, reach your arms up, slight back bend. Exhale, hands down the center line of the body, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, right leg back, back knee drops. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, step back to plank. Lower, knees, chest, chin, come down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look to your hands, right foot forward, back knee drops. Inhale, Anjali Asana. Exhale, fold. Push through the feet, come up, inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Other side, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold down the center line of the body. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, left leg back, back knee drops. Inhale arms reach. Exhale, step back, down dog. Rock forward to plank, knees, chest, chin, come down. Inhale. Exhale, curl your toes under, push back. Look to the hands, left foot forward, back knee drops. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale and fold. Inhale, push through the feet, come up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Notice how you're feeling. And again, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, right leg back, back knee drops. Arms reach. Exhale, step back to plank. Lower, knees, chest, chin. Inhale. And exhale, down dog. Take a breath. Look to the hands. Right foot forward, back knee drops. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Other side, inhale. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, left leg back. Back knee drops, arms reach. Exhale, plank and lower. Maybe chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Good, and down dog. Look to the hands, left foot forward, arms reach. Exhale and fold. Relax the face, relax your head. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, hands to the heart, well done. And again, one more time. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, right leg back, back knee drops. Inhale. Exhale, plank. Lower. Up dog or cobra. And down dog. Right leg forward, back knee drops. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Left side. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, left leg back, back knee drops. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, step back, plank, lower, up dog or cobra, and down dog. Look to the hands, left foot forward, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a moment, notice how you feel. All right, a chair pose is really good for a morning practice. And we're coming to our chair pose, which is not always what you think with sitting comfortably in a chair. It's not the most comfortable pose, but it's very good for activating the legs and the core muscles. So when you're ready, let's take a chair pose, sit back, Inhale, arms beside the ears. Push down from the sit bones through to your toes. And from here, we're gonna take a twist. So bring the hands to the chest at prayer, prayer pose. Left elbow over right knee. Turn, rotate the chest. Keep the left hip drawing back. And see if you can gaze up here. Good. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands to the chest, other side. Right elbow over left knee, keep the right hip drawing back so the knees are level. Rotate, take a breath. Good, and gently release, come back to center and inhale. Standing up, take a breath, good. Hands to your hips now. Step your legs wide, feet parallel. Interlock the hands behind the back, open the chest, extend the front of the spine. Draw up through your kneecaps and the arches of the feet, fold forward, prasarita. Lift your arms up off your back, breathe here. Gently release the hands down under the chest. Walk your feet to your left foot. Bend the left knee and come into your Skandasana. Walk to the other side. Good, back to the left. And from here, we're going to Bend, uh, sorry, drop the left knee down now, so you're in a gate pose. Bring that right arm over. Good, and then bring it back. 
to the hip. Can you now, I'm just going to give you an option of a side plank. So if you feel like doing a side plank, you can straighten that left leg and come into your side plank. If it's too strong, you can keep the knee bent and just do a gate pose. Drop your left hip down and then inhale, lift up. So getting into those the abdominals, transverse abdominals, good. Lift up and let, come down. Good, lift up. And then when you're ready, bring that left leg back and release the hand. We'll walk to the other side and we'll take the same stretch on the other side. So I'm gonna drop the knee down, coming to the gate pose. That might be enough. Or if you wanna straighten that right leg, you can do your side plank. And then you can slowly release down and then you can come up again. Only if it feels good. Good, using those transverse abdominals, those core muscles. Well done, and then bend that right knee. Walk your hands back to center, straighten the leg, come back into your passerita, folding forward, the feet parallel, let your head relax. Elbows are bent. Good, push through the feet, slowly take your time to come up, hands onto the hips. Turn your right foot out, let's come into Trikonasana, triangle. Right foot out, heel in line with the arch of the back foot. Extend your arms, inhale, exhale, come into your Trikonasana, triangle pose. No weight on that right arm. Gaze up to the thumb if your neck allows you to, otherwise you can just keep your chin into your chest. Good, push through the feet, come up, pivot to the other side. Inhale, exhale, extend, slowly come down. Keep lifting up through the right hand, gaze at the right thumb. And slowly rise up, parallel your feet, turn the right foot out again, this time, extend your arms, bend the right knee, and come into your warrior two. So strong warrior two, gazing along that arm, taking three breaths here. Mind, body, and spirit, three deep breaths. And then transition to side angle, so extend out either come to your knee or the hand on the inside of that leg left arm comes up and over rotate the chest when you're ready left hand to the waist look down push through the front foot and let's pivot to the other side so warrior two on the other side, sink down, gaze along that front arm. Side angle, either to the knee or beside the knee. Right arm over the ear, rotate your chest. Take a couple of breaths here. Well done. Right hand to the waist. Push off that left foot and slowly come up. Heel toe your feet together. So your hip distance apart. And we can't do a grounding class without tree pose. So finding your roots, your imaginary roots through the left foot. Sending those energetic roots into the earth. Bring your right knee up and find your tree pose. So pushing into the thigh, just make sure you're not pushing anywhere near your knee. 
And then your hands, you make do whatever you like, hands at prayer or arms out. Challenge yourself with your gaze. So the higher up you look, the harder it is. And if you really want to challenge yourself, you can close your eyes. Keep pushing that right knee out to the right. Keep taking deep breaths into your belly. Good, and then slowly bring that right knee forward and release your leg. Hands to your hips, take a breath. Other side, send the energetic roots through your right leg. Lift up through your left. Push that left foot onto the thigh. Finding that nice tree pose and then choosing what you would like to do with your arms and your focus, your drishti. Keep lengthening up through your waist. Taking deep breaths here. Good. Hands to the hips. Release your leg down. Take a moment, take a breath. Feet hip distance and let's slowly come down all the way into our squat. If you can't squat, just place a towel underneath you. But this is your anti-aging pose. So you want to hang out in your squat as often as you can. So good for digestion, for grounding, for mobility. There's so many benefits. You want to be able to come in and out of the squat many times a day, whenever you can think of it. So just breathing here, taking a moment, maybe pushing your knees into your arms, your arms into your knees, lift up through your heart. And then exhale, just look down and extend your arms forward, getting a stretch through the upper back. Inhale, lift up, arch the back slightly. Exhale, extend. Inhale, come up. Look up. Exhale, reach. Good. And then let's drop the right hand down, left arm up to the sky. And swap, left arm down, right arm up and release good all right slowly come down now sitting down right leg is extended left foot against the right thigh turn your chest turn your torso over your right leg take a breath here inhale reach up lengthen through your waist exhale fold over your leg lengthening through the front of the spine and the back of the spine deep breaths here Keep dropping the left shoulder down as you lengthen through the body, lengthen through the spine. Good. Inhale, come up. Take your left hand behind you, lift up through your hips. Release down. Manually lift your right leg up and just place it over your left knee, preparing for your Ardha Matsyandrasana twist. So we've got that right foot flat on the ground. Inhale, extend your right arm, bring it behind you to support your back. Hug your knee, lengthen on the inhale. Exhale, twist gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Slowly. Unravel, face forward, release your right leg, interlock your hand under your foot now and just straighten the leg. And gently release, good. Let's do the other side. Left leg out, the right foot into the thigh, turn to face that left leg, inhale, extend, anchor through your seat as you reach up through your waist. 
Exhale, gaze at your toes as you fold forward. Breathing here. Inhale, rise up. Right hand comes behind you, lift up through your hips. Gently lower. Manually take that left leg over the right knee. Inhale, lengthen through the left arm. Bring the left arm behind you to support your spine. Hug your left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, gaze over your left shoulder. Good, turn back to center, interlock the hands under your left foot, extend the leg. Well done, and release. Straighten both legs out now. Remove the fleshy bit of your sit bones if you like to do that. Place the hands down, Dandasana, sitting in your staff pose, right angle. When you're ready, we're going to come into Paschimottanasana. So inhale, reach up through the arms, push down through your seat. Exhale, fold forward, stretching out your back. Feeling it in your hamstrings. Good, and slowly rise up. Well done. Take time now to come onto your back. So sliding down onto your back, feet flat, knees are bent. Reach your fingers down towards your heels. And when you're ready, pushing up into a bridge pose. So inhaling, exhale, push up into your bridge pose. Maybe interlock the hands underneath you if you like that. Or you could just reach your arms up behind you for a different type of stretch. So just feeling into the Bridge pose. And then just lowering vertebra by vertebra slowly all the way down. Good. Bending your knees, coming to your happy baby. So taking the outside edges of your feet, rocking side to side. Massaging your lower back. Release the feet then. Arms out to 180. Drop your knees to the left. Gaze to the right. And swap over knees to the right. Gaze to the left. And back to centre, well done. Stretching out for a beautiful Shavasana, a couple of moments to allow everything to integrate. So release the shoulders away from the ears, hands out to the sides, palm turned up. Take a deep breath here. And just maybe a sigh, just oh, let it all out. Giving yourself a couple of moments here in your Shavasana allowing all of the work you've done to be integrated into your cells.
gently deepen your breath. Slowly bring your awareness back into the body. Maybe move your fingers and your toes. And when you're ready, just stretch your arms out, taking time to roll over to your right side. Coming up when you're ready. Rubbing your hands together. Just place them over the eyes. Take a moment here. Inhale, float your arms up, gathering strength and energy for the rest of the day. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Sealing the practice with a primordial arm. Inhaling. Um, and surrender to the grace of the universe. Namaste. Namaste.